What is up, YouTube, and welcome back to another video. I've actually not done this for such a long time. I was like literally just sitting down and I was just speaking to the camera. Normally, I'm actually like holding, walking around with my camera. But yeah, <clears throat> today I'm actually gonna do it. Today, I'm gonna be doing something different. So, pretty much, is that I'm just gonna talk about how I felt when it came to my comp competition, obviously, my prepping and all that stuff, and like the pros and cons. Obviously, some people might want to watch this, some people don't want to watch this, but it's pretty much obviously just. Just in case if some people want to actually actually compete one day, but at the end of the day, everyone's gonna vary. Everyone's different, gender, age, weight. It's gonna be always different. But at the end, this is how I felt. So I literally, I'm still like shocked that I still did it because after so many years of me wanting to do it, I finally did it. Behind me, trophies. I'm gonna start with the pros. So. I last when I first attempted to actually compete, which was last year, I was all stressed. I was literally like, I was all stressed. I was like worrying constantly every week. I was doing a lot more cardio, and I was literally going nowhere. And my physique last year wasn't as good as this year. Like completely, like no near as good. Like compared to this year, I, I wasn't worried about my weight. I literally, this, at the end of the day, I don't worry about my weight. I literally write down every day. I just like to see what my actual weight is. I don't worry about too much. I was, <coughs> but my main tool was is literally just look in the mirror. As vain as it sounds, I'd rather use the mirror just because obviously it's a good tool. So I'll be able to see how I feel. I look in the mirror, see how I feel, how I look after my meals, after my workouts, in the morning. That's my favorite tool. That's how I use it with my clients. That's how I use it for myself. It's just an easier tool. Overall, I did really enjoy the competition. Like, words can't explain how surprising. Like, I even said this to people. Like, I would be upset if I didn't place. Like, obviously it was my first competition. Obviously, people will go for experience. I don't go for experience. If I want to do it, I'm going to go all out. I don't expect to not place or just do I, I don't say I have a high expectations. I want to at least place. And luckily, obviously, it came third twice and second once. I only classified one of them because obviously uh, it was more than two, three people. That's why. When it came to the nutrition side, like my food was still nice and healthy. I, I actually didn't get to a point where I was 100% dedicated to my actual food. I was probably like 85%. Like I was a lot more strict than the last month. When it came to my actual program, like my workouts, I was still progressing right there. So I was making sure I was hitting my numbers or at least trying to maintain it. At the end of the day, you're not gonna try. It's very, very unlikely that you'll be still progressing your weight because you're just in such a deficit. But that's why you literally try and have to maintain it as much as you can. And yeah, but overall, I actually did enjoy it. Will I be competing again? Hell yes, I will be competing. Uh, most people, some people keep asking me when I'll be competing again. I'm gonna focus on my weak points at the moment because I very respect one of the judges, they said, work on my fullness, which I already knew because the guys that I went against were a lot bigger, they were a lot better conditioned. So first we just give feedback when it comes to the cons. Okay, there is quite a few cons. This is my opinion at the end of the day. Uh, there were only three times in the whole prep that I felt like poop, like literally I was like swearing so much. I remember, I still remember this day I went to Costco and I was like swearing so much to my cousin. Like, leave me alone, leave me alone. Literally, I was like, I was just hungry. That was my, that was my first low carb day, and I was like, oh, I was hungry. Um, I was probably like an average of about seventeen hundred calories plus about six hundred calories cardio, and cardio was literally on the steps. And obviously, because you can't actually go out sometimes when you want to go out eating with your friends, with your close ones, with your family, you're restricted. So it's sometimes like I've actually bring like. I've had I've gone actually like restaurants and I bring my own like food or like crack you know, crackers. People say crackers, but it's rice cakes, all that stuff. But other bad things were obviously like I knew I had to be a lot more. Better. I knew I had to be a lot more better, better condition. There was other things, so I will go in depth. Obviously, for, for example, bodybuilding is a selfish sport. Selfish sport, which I've always knew that. But at the end of the day, people's gonna have to understand that you're only doing this for a short period of time. It's not a long period, and I do regret some of my decisions, what I've done the whole prep, so I've lost very close friends, I've lost people who are special to me, and yeah, I do regret from this day, because they've been a part of my life for such a long time, and I knew for a fact that, well, I didn't realise until after my combat, I 
did act different. So at the end of the day, I didn't actually mean to obviously affect like all my close ones. Yeah, who, who wants to lose their close people? That's been enough for quite a long time, quite a while. But that's why in the future I need to obviously try and balance when it comes to like relationship, friendship and all that stuff and obviously like family. And obviously don't be fully selfish because at the end of the day it's it's only gonna you're only competing for a day and is it really worth jeopardizing all those stuff around you and at the end of the day you're getting all these supports and obviously my posing I obviously need to practice with my poses because obviously I didn't actually have actual practices I only practice like the whole like the whole week like the week of my pee week which is not really good and I didn't actually have a routine when I saw the actual two guys um, doing a routine I was like oh my god oh my god I literally like cracked myself when I actually saw him um, posing and thought oh my god oh my god I, I was li I was just actually going along like just doing random poses <laughs> uh, in my head I was just cracking out obviously I was going to crack or laugh start laughing on stage like why are you laughing what's this guy laughing for but those were pretty much my cons and obviously what, when it comes to obviously my food as well, I'm gonna be a lot more flexible, not as strict as I was to, like this time, but I'll be a lot more flexible when it comes to my food, and hopefully of my food intake will be a lot more higher than 1,700 calories. But those are my pros. At the end of the day, this is my opinion. Oh, this is how I felt during this whole prep. I mean, pretty much was cutting for like two and a half months, three months, and like physically, like mentally, like, physically, and mentally, like sticking it to it it's like a good month and a half but obviously when it comes to like people who actually want to compete like try and actually think obviously about other people and obviously try not to lose that stuff try not to mess up and obviously because at the end of the day they're there for you they're always going to support you and obviously work on your weak points at the end of the day because you don't want to go compete unless if you want experience and obviously just go compete literally you can go well that is hand Hairy as hell, and go if you just want to actual the experience. But obviously, if you want to win, work on your actual weak points. I will be working my weak points as well, but I feel like I was still in good condition. I'm still happy with the results. But it's pretty much all the pros and cons at the end of the day. This is how this is my opinion at the end of the day. If you feel like that, there is other parts I need to work on when it comes to like my posing, when it comes to my physique, or any tips of advice, whoever actually has actually competed before, give me a name advice. Like at the end of the day, it's everyone was just so nice, and it's it's got to be enjoyable. I did actually enjoy like the process and everything. Like I enjoyed it. At the end of the day, it's like you're gonna have a good day, you're gonna have bad days, you're gonna have crappy days when you don't want to go to gym. I've had many times like that. So, like, I've been like dragged myself into the gym like six o'clock in the morning. Even though I don't want to go to gym, go back to work straight after that. But also you've got to stay focused at the end of the day. If you want to actually do it, you've got to actually go all out. And obviously, what's the point doing something that you know that you have no passion about? But yeah, hope that video. And see you later.